Hi, my name's Stuart Walker from RMS and today I'm going to give you an update on the latest motion amplification software released by RDI Technologies. So in the last six months we've had two fantastic updates, version 3.1 and version 3.2. So I'm going to start with version 3.1. We've got triggering, live region of interest, long-term record, and HDR, high density recording. Let's start with triggering. So this is a fantastic tool. If you're trying to trigger the start of a recording, you're not sure when it's gonna start, and we can actually put in a pre-trigger, so a buffer in the data, and then uh, a post-trigger for how long you wanna record. So we've got a little fan here. You arm the system, it starts to buffer, and then it's live. We then see the machine start, plus the icon and it's recorded the pre and post buffer. Fantastic tool, great for things like bump tests as we're seeing here and then we can obviously isolate the individual frequencies. This is a filtered reading of a bump test. It's really great for capturing these transit events. Machine startup, this is a fan going through a resonance problem as it increases in speed and then we can do detailed analysis afterwards. A really fantastic tool. Live region of interest. So this is where we can actually do a measurement in the live mode. This is really useful just to get a feeling of the different frequencies on the machine before we actually start saving recordings. So really nice. We get waveform, frequency data. We can look at the amplitude. Really useful tool that. Long term record. This is almost like a, um, I think like a time lapse. So we can actually do stuff like thermal growth over many hours. So we put a duration in here. I'm going to put 180 minutes, but it could be as long as you want. And then how often do you want to capture an image? I've put five seconds here, but it could be minutes or hours. And then we set record. And then every five seconds in this case, it's going to take an image, which will build a, a video which we can then uh, look at the data. And here was a turbine warming up. It was offline and we're doing some thermal growth measurements over a long period of time. I think it was two and a half hours. And then we can actually play the video. And the one on the right shows you the machine rocking backwards and forwards as it uh, heated up. And there's the thermal growth measurements. We've also got the option now, if we've got a couple of ROIs, uh, we can actually get measurements off those. And uh, just like before, we can go into the waveform, uh, but this time we can actually do what we call a, a difference plot. So we've got two thermal growth measurements there, or distances. We overlay, we go to a difference plot, lots of different options there. Uh, we click that, and then it shows the difference between the two points on uh, how much movement has occurred. Really nice tool, that. Really nice. This is a big favorite of mine, use it all the time, high density recordings. So the standard MA is really good, uh, but sometimes with a frame rate, it might be slightly jerky. So with this, we can uh, take an ROI, get a frequency. And then actually, if we go into filtering, it's just another filtering method, this. We go into HDR, and then the key is we're gonna lock into the frequency of interest. We're then gonna add that, to the system and then I like to put probably eight to ten cycles which is sort of the rotations apply that and then that's going to process that and now we're going to have a HDR recording which is really it's like super smooth and you really see that extra detail you can see the difference on the left and right fantastic tool this highly recommend uh, using this here's some examples great for vectors as well the vectors really smooth vector motion uh, we can see a pump here so much detail when these have uh, been hdr'd really cool and just see the subtlety of the motion so 3.2 uh, that's just been released and again some fantastic updates color camera tax sync phase map stabilization and audio recordings let's go for the amazing colour camera, which it's just got so much impact, I feel. I'm still going to use the black and white, but where needed, I'll use the colour if I just want that extra sort of 
communication really because it really does jump out at you the, the color ma you can do um, recordings on there the same as before measurements it's absolutely not a problem the only slight thing indoors you will need a little bit of extra light but that is not a problem and we've had some fantastic results with the color camera it really is uh, amazing stuff next one is tax sync this is amazing so we're using an external uh, tack this is an add-on to the system back into the camera and it's going to actually uh, trigger a data capture every revolution on rotating component now you do need a bit of reflective tape on the uh, component of interest and as we see here I've locked into this fan the tax pulling in the data 2200 rpm and then I can actually set a number of cycles of frames to capture so we could just it does need quite a bit of light this so I do recommend you use external lights and then we record the data and it's just capturing the reading every revolution now here's a coupling this is rotating and what we're doing here that's the standard video we're going to amplify it now and we can actually see the coupling flexing so this is the non-synchronous frequencies we're looking at it removes the one times okay this is a fan impeller we can see there's a little drill there absolutely amazing i'm looking forward to getting some industrial uh, shots for this but truly amazing phase map so this is another cool tool so we've got a bridge structure here it's vibrating we can see there's some motion there but with the phase map, we can actually use, it's like a 360 degree color of phase. So we lock into the frequency and by color, we can see what's in and out of phase. And then we can actually just highlight if we want. In this case, I'm doing the 180 degrees uh, difference in phase. Really, really nice tool, very visual. Here's a couple example. These are 90 degrees out of phase these two uh, components and again I've just highlighted those frequencies and it overlays that color got another example here this is a, a motor rocking due to a base problem and you can see when we we overlay that real contrasting colors there um, 180 degrees drive end to non-drive end rocking there and if you add a bit of transparency you can even show a bit of the motion in the video stabilization we've always had this but uh, there's been a great update with this and i highly recommend you stay but when using this you stabilize the raw data don't filter and then stabilize you need to stabilize the raw data as i'm doing here and then filter afterwards so once you've used the stabilization you can see it's improved massive but then we can filter it so what we do we draw an ROI, region of interest, just get a frequency off there. And then as we normally do, quick method to get into filtering there. And we're gonna filter the data just for that frequency. And um, apparently it's, it's uh, significantly improved this. And I've seen that in a few, few videos I've actually uh, played with it. So great update there, definitely be using that audio recordings this has been highly requested so in motion studio we can do lovely video reports and now we can narrate over the top and add uh, audio this is fantastic and again it just increases the flexibility of the the system so what's great you can do a constant recording if you want or like i'm doing here we're adding a couple of narrations to key points and then you can move those about as well i do recommend you do your full video first and then do the narration or otherwise you can get out of sync a bit but a great tool if you require any more information on the motion amplification technology please visit our website rms-reliability.com rdi technologies also have a fantastic website too thank you